Hi guys, welcome to first lesson of R programming for SAS programmers. So if you are a SAS programmer and trying to uh, get into R, uh, then these videos are for you. Um, so in this lesson, we will learn about the R Studio interface and learn some basics of R language. I will assume that you already have R Studio installed on your computer. If not, there are a bunch of websites and videos that gives you step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that. So you can pause the video, install RStudio on your computer, and then come back. All right, so first thing first, once you have your RStudio opened up, um, let's get familiarized with the environment. So first you will have to do is to go to File, New Project, you go to new directory and then you can browse to the path where you want to store this project. You go to new project and then you can browse from here. If you don't have a folder, you create one. I have less than one folder already. So you can open that and then you can say lesson one, lesson two or whatever name you want to give to your directory and you say create project. So I'll create lesson two lesson two and then create project. So what this does, it makes the path uh, relative to lesson two path. What does that mean? In terms of SAS, I don't know if you guys remember, we have this uh, change current folder uh, option in, in SAS where you could change the current folder location and then any relative paths that you have in your code will be in relationship to that current folder. So same thing in R, once you create a project and when you set up the path, then that path becomes the current path. So any relative uh, addresses that you have will be in relationship to your current folder. In this case, it is lesson two. If you already have a folder and you want to go in there, all you need to do, or an existing project, you go File, Open Project, and you will browse to that location. So in my case, it's gonna be Lesson 1, and I'm gonna say Open. And now you can see my path is uh, relative to lesson one. All right. So on the right hand side over here, you can see all the files that are stored in the lesson one folder. Um, if you don't see anything, that means it's an empty folder. But I had saved one program in there. So I have program one. Uh, if you want to create a brand new program in this folder, you go to file and then you say R script and that opens up a untitled one program. If you want to open up an existing one, all you do is click on it in your file explorer window and it opens up over here. So let's recap what we did. We opened up a project in R studio and then that helped us to um, set the current path of R, like or the current working directory for R. Now you can see that R interface, R Studio interface is very similar to Enterprise Guide. You can see that this is the code editor, this place where you can write your code, just like in Enterprise Guide, you have the program editor, right? Then um, you have log, so here in the console down bottom, if we run anything, the log will show up um, at the bottom window. Then um, we have the environment tab right over here. Um, that is like the navigation area uh, where you go into the work library in SAS or any other library and you can see the SAS data sets. Like that here, you will be able to see uh, the vectors, the data frames uh, that you are creating in your program, you'll be able to see them 
over here on the right hand side environment window. And then as we discussed file tab, uh, this is the file navigation area uh, where you will be able to open up any resources that you have in your current folder. To run a piece of code in SAS, uh, you select it and then you press the running man icon. Here you can do control enter or you can use command return if you are on a Mac system and it will execute that piece of code. You can see at the bottom in the console window, we have that the instruction ran successfully. If you want to look what is stored in MSG, you can just say MSG enter and it will show you the value in that variable. All right, guys, so this was the basics of uh, RStudio. Uh, in the next lesson, we'll go uh, dig deeper into R language syntax. Um, so if you like this video, press the thumbs up. Uh, you can also press on the subscribe button so that if when new videos get published, you get notified. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.